Hi, welcome to another edition of Kevy Shaves and today I'm going to talk about something a little bit different again. Uh, there's been a discussion on the UK Wet Shavers Society Facebook group and um, there's a guy on there called Jim Naismith and he posted a video about um, soaps that are disappearing, soap makers. Um, there's one in the UK in particular, a, a UK artisan called uh, Wickham Soaps and uh, the guy's name is Darren Barnes and he produced some soaps, uh, Wickham Soap Company was the, was the name of his company but uh, he's no longer producing soap, um, he's, I don't know if he's, I really, I don't know much about the guy at all, only from what I've heard that the soaps are, are incredible um, but he's no longer making them for whatever reason, I, I'm not sure entirely, um, I don't know whether it's family stuff or cost constraints, I, I don't know, I really don't know. Um, but the other day, uh, the city where I stay in Scotland, um, there's a shaving shop uh, in town and I went in there just to have a chat to the guy and uh, just to have a, have a look about and maybe get some soap and I did get some soap, I bought some cella. Um, <clears throat> but he, I was talking to him about the, the UK artisans uh, how there aren't really many of them at the moment and I was mentioning the, the discussion on the Facebook group about the um, the Wickham soap and he said, oh, I think I've got a puck of that someplace so he had a little search about for it and uh, he found it and he says, uh, he said to me, you can have it uh, he says, it's, it's been sitting in the shop, I don't know the Wickham soap company may have sent it in uh, to the shop as a sample a long time ago, but the pucks I've seen uh, look nothing like this one. So here's here's the soap that Ian at the Gentleman's Groom Room in Dundee uh, gave to me, very, very kindly gave to me, and it's Wickham's Super Smooth Gentleman's Soap, handcrafted in Wickham, England, which is, um, I don't know if it's a town or a village, and, and this, is the, this is the Bay Rum scent. And I'll just give you a look at the back. Um, I don't know if Darren, the guy that made the soap, can watch this video, but there's the batch number down there, but it's kind of, it's a little bit kind of rubbed off and stuff like that. And I'll let you have a look at the ingredients and stuff like that, if you can see it. Yeah, so um, anyway, I, the, I'm thinking this must be an old an old batch of the, the soap, maybe one of the first ones that came out, because the packaging now is completely different. It's in, it has a kind of red, I'm just looking at a photograph here, it has kind of red around here and the label is completely different. Uh, the, 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 the writing and stuff on it is completely different. So yeah, and this soap, um, it's hardly been used. I've lathered it up and it's it performs fine, um, and it's it's got a lovely scent. It's bay rummy, which obviously it's bay rum soap, so it is. But <clears throat> there's a there's a lovely soapy scent to it, and it's also to my nose it's quite peppery. It smells kind of peppery. Uh, and I was just looking at the ingredients when I, I noticed that it has pimento officionalis, pimento berry oil. Um, I don't know whether you can see that in the ingredients kind of down the bottom there. That's obviously what's giving giving off the the peppery scent. But it's a, it's a it's a lovely soap. Um, and I just wanted to come on and just basically to say that. Um, yeah, I, I, I really love this uh, this soap. Obviously, I, you, I don't think you get it in the bare rum. Uh, the ones that are left, there's some stock. I'm just looking at the computer here. There's some stock online. Some of the the stores in the UK, I don't know about the states or Europe or that. Some of them still have supplies of Wickham. Obviously, the stuff that they've ordered in, and um, they'll just be kind of looking to get rid of. But I don't think they'll be getting any new soaps in from Wickham Soap Company because the guy's obviously not, Darren's not making soap anymore. But yeah, just to show you that and just to say, yeah, it's an absolutely lovely, lovely soap. 
and I just hope that Darren Barnes gets a Wickham Soap Company. Wickham Soap Company. I just hope that they make a comeback. As I say, I don't know for whatever reason he's not making soaps. That's it's nothing to do with me, but it's such a super soap, and uh, there's a lot of the, the the Facebook users on the UK Wet Shaving Society and, and elsewhere. I've watched um, videos on YouTube. Everybody raves about it. So hopefully, fingers crossed that Wickham Soap Company will make a comeback sometime soon in the future. Hopefully because there's not enough UK artisan soap makers out there and uh, I know that um, some of them might be a bit miffed at me saying that but <laughs> the more the merrier competition's a good thing you know what I'm saying James <laughs> okay that's all I wanted to talk about today uh, thanks for watching and listening to my nonsense <laughs> uh, we'll see you again in the next video and take care and have a great night